Five apps promise to revolutionize how you talk to AI locally. Three are free, one costs 79 bucks yearly, and all claim they're the easiest thing ever. Someone's lying. We're investigating OpenWebUI, LM Studio, Anything LLM, LibreChat, and MSTY. These are the heavyweight contenders fighting for your desktop, and the battlefield is absolutely nuclear. OpenWebUI leads GitHub with over 112,000 stars. Impressive until you realize popularity doesn't equal usability. This thing is a hackable Swiss army knife designed by engineers who forgot normal people exist. Once configured, it's powerful, with built-in RAG, Python plugins, and enterprise security. Setup requires Docker knowledge and debugging skills when things break. One tester called it the hardest to configure of everything they tried. If you're a developer building team infrastructure, perfect. If you just want to chat with AI, skip it. LM Studio wins the beauty contest. Gorgeous interface, drag and drop installation, access to over a thousand models. Beginners love it because it just works. Performance is stellar on Apple Silicon. But here's the problem. It's closed source. In a world where privacy is the entire point of local AI, trusting proprietary code raises eyebrows. Reddit threads are filled with distrust over this decision. Users also report crashes on Windows and poor Intel Mac support. Perfect for beginners prioritizing ease over transparency. Anything LLM promises everything. RAG workflows, AI agents, multi-user support, document interaction. The feature list reads like a fever dream wish list. Reality check. Stability is a disaster. The app loves hanging when processing documents. Multiple testers reported crashes and engine unreachable errors. The ambitious feature set becomes a liability because advanced functions feel half-baked. Choose this if you need enterprise RAG and can tolerate occasional meltdowns. LibreChat is the longest running AI chat UI at two years old, yet flies under the radar. Built for enterprises needing bulletproof authentication with OAUH, Active Directory, and role-based access control, can switch between OpenAI and Anthropic mid-conversation. Completely free and open source. The catch? Documentation assumes technical competence. Setup requires understanding Docker and API configurations. It dominates when privacy meets enterprise requirements with 50 plus users. MSTY launched asking $79 yearly for features others provide free. Bold move. The pitch is unified simplicity. One interface for local models plus remote APIs. Split chat compares multiple models simultaneously works completely offline with zero telemetry. Users genuinely love it, praising rapid updates and intuitive design. But most features exist free in competitors. You're paying for polish and convenience. The verdict? If you're building team infrastructure, open web UI wins, despite setup nightmares. Beginners wanting instant gratification should choose LM Studio if closed source doesn't bother them. Need advanced RAG with patience for instability? anything LLM. Deploying for enterprises with authentication requirements? LibreChat only. Have $79 for immediate polish? MSTY provides legitimate convenience. The real winner? None fully. Each excels at specific use cases while failing at others. Choose based on actual needs, not marketing promises. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs>
It's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now, the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation. I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.